Hey guys, it's Lynn from Lather and Luster. Um, this video I wanted to show how I usually uh, mold my soaps, the types of molds that I use, and how I line them. So the easiest one, of course, is going to be a silicone liner. Uh, my husband makes all of my wooden molds for me because it tends to be cheaper and then I can customize however I want them. Um, you just purchase these silicone molds. Uh, they tend to flop around a little bit here, so I do tape them a little bit in a couple different spots and that kind of holds them together so that they're not doing this kind of floppy thing here. I use these for my hot process soaps and also for melt and pour. Um, the hot process on the tall and skinny molds tends to get some air pockets in it because I can't get them down in there fast enough before it cools and uh, the melt and pour is liquid so when you go to pour that into a lined mold that isn't closed, you're going to end up with soap all over your counter. So this is one way and the easiest way. I don't use this for a lot of my cold process and for my oven process only because the silicone does create the bubbles along the side. It doesn't make anything wrong with the soap. Uh, it's just purely aesthetic. You can certainly plane that off, but um, I'm all for working smarter, not harder. So that's the first way. The main way that I have been doing my molds for a very long time is lining them with either parchment paper or with freezer paper. Uh, I like the parchment paper better, but it tends to be a little more costly, so freezer paper works just as well and it's stronger. One of the great things about this is that you can um, use it to lift the soap up if you don't have a hinged mold. My husband made this one with carriage bolts and with hinges, so all I have to do is drop the sides and I can pull the soap out nice and easy. But if you don't want to make them with these kinds of um, hardware, then having the freezer paper, uh, the stronger freezer paper, makes it easier to just lift that soap right out of the mold. So let me just show you really quick. I don't want to make this video super long and boring. This is just plain old piece of paper that you get at the grocery store. I don't think it matters what brand you get. This hair clip out of the way, sorry about that. So what I do is I measure about the, a little, I overshoot where the mold is. So this is the end of the mold here. I don't know if you can see that in the end of the mold here. Rip that off. Doesn't matter if it's ugly. Keep the shiny side up. You have a shiny side and you have a dull side. The shiny side is going to make it so that it's a little less um, sticky. So I line that up on the mold so the mold is going to be center on the paper. You can It's hard to see in the video, I know, but if you look right there so you can see the mold through the paper, on parchment paper it's way easier to see. So what I do is I just take my hands and just kind of make a crease, just like that, on each side. Now keep in mind, it's going to take a little longer in the video only because I am explaining things and kind of going slowly. But really, I can knock these out super duper quick. Alright. So you can see the little indent there on the paper. And then what I do is I fold it on the inner lines. So just fold your paper. that on all four sides. Make sure you fold it on the inner line. If you fold it on the outer line, your paper's going to be too big, and then you'll be saying a bad word. Fold it on the inner line. I hope you can see this. If you can see how I have my uh, video rigged up here on a base tape to a mold, and um, you would laugh. And then again, in here that you fold it out, right? And just take these scissors, take some nice super sharp ones. These scissors came with a knife block my husband bought me for Valentine's Day, um, made by Shun. And I don't know why someone would buy knives for a spouse on Valentine's Day, but maybe he trusts me, I don't know. But anyway, they're so sharp, and I don't know how many times 
I'm gonna put my stuff on them. So please be very careful. So what I'm doing is I'm just cutting, cutting the squares out here where the um, internal folds are. I don't know if you can see that. So see how when we fold it in here, we want this square out. Again, don't cut on the outer the outer fold because your paper is going to be too big. Okay, so now you have a piece of paper that looks like this. And you can kind of see where we're going with this. If you take the mold, bring it right over. Okay, and just Slide this in, super duper easy. And look at that, it's like a, it's custom made. Ta da! And now you have your paper lining for your mold. ugly on the bottom there just because I didn't push it down in there. There you go. Ta -da! So what you can do from here is you can tape the sides to keep them in place so they're not flopping all around when you're trying to pour your soap. Or um, I tend to have a much larger round head than most people so, but, um, so these things don't fit my head. So I buy these at Walmart. They're just uh, the little headband things, um, the cheapy ones. I like to grab them when they're on sale, it doesn't matter what color they are. But I take them and I just put them around my mold like this. And there you go. Holding it nice in place. See? I have a couple pieces of tape on there, one on each side, just to kind of hold it in place. And there you go. You have your mold. When you're done with all your soap, you just pull your tape off. And then you can use the paper just like this to pull your soap out. Alright, you can use pretty much anything to line your molds with. I prefer to use paper. Some people use trash bags. Some people, um, they use press and seal. Um, I tend to be on the more frugal side and I just like to use the freezer paper. I hope you enjoyed. See you in a little bit. Bye.